Hello and welcome to the famous and historical KRE building. This was one of the first buildings built specifically for broadcasting in 1937. This place is historical for many other reasons, as you'll see as we walk in. It's also the home of the California Historical Radio Society, the Bay Area Radio Museum, and the Bay Area Radio Hall of Fame. So come on over here and uh, we'll look at one thing first. If you remember the movie American Graffiti, you remember Richard Dreyfus coming right through this door. This door, this porthole, and these lightning bolts were missing for many years and have just recently been recreated back to the original condition. So come on in and check out our little home here. Okay, the door stop up. This is uh, our friend Zoe down here, and this is the lobby of the historic KRE building. Uh, home of the California Historical Radio Society. So come on over into this room first. Welcome to the CHRS Museum Store and the CHRS Audio Transfer Service. You can buy a t-shirt, you can buy a mug, or you can bring in your wire recordings. You can bring in your reel-to-reel, -reel, your electrical transcriptions, your cassettes, your LPs and we will transfer them to a digital media for you, spit them back out on cassettes. This board, in a great looking audio board, this is a Gates Duolux from 1958. This board originally came out of the Nesman Studios in Wichita Falls, Texas, where Buddy Holly did some recording before this board was in place. Totally restored and made working by one of our engineers and technicians and board members John Staples. So let's go because our time is short and we got a lot to see. Zenith Porthole TV 1952. This was a sales gimmick by Zenith. The, uh, the camera lens was round, your eye was round, they thought the picture should be round. Didn't make it, did it? Look at this beautiful stock all wave from the 30s. Here's the founder of, uh, of many things we do here, uh, Lee DeForest, and an example of some of the uh, vacuum tubes that he was originally responsible for, in some aspect. Come on in this way. Here we are in radios by decades. If you were listening to radio in the teens, this is what you'd listen to. And if you were a lady and didn't want to muss up your hair, we had a earphone, an earphone just for you. Come on over here. In the 20s, people thought the radio should look like apparatus, so we had the Atwater Kent. And the David Grimes got a little fancier. Here are some 30 sets. Here are some 40 sets, including a Scotty made right here in San Francisco. Over there in San Francisco. And some 50s radios here. If you come on in this way, you can see an example of very small radios, some new and some old. Come on in this way. Look at this. It's radio with pictures. Here's a small example of uh, tele televisions through the ages, including the largest black and white picture tube ever made. This was the Dumont Royal Sovereign made in 1952. This was a 30 inch picture tube, black and white. They never made a bigger one. Ah, what's this on top? It's a three inch pilot from around the same era. And here are a lot of various early sets, mostly from the late 40s and very early 50s. So come on, let's walk back out the other way. And uh, on our way out, we can take, uh, take a look at some of the people involved with the Bay Area Radio Museum. So you'll see more of that later. Come on, this way. If you come down this hallway, this is just another example of uh, many of the ver different varieties of radios and radio manufacturers and styles that, um, you know, that radio makes, you know, makes us want to, you know, be part of radio. Oh, Mike, look up here. If you can look at that picture, that looks, that's our building when we originally moved in. It's been, it's come quite a bit farther and it's all due to volunteers. Come on in this way. This is our little control room, and uh, in here, uh, there's always been a control room basically in some configuration here. On the other side of that wall is a transmitter that's not that particular one, but there's always been an AM transmitter continually transmitting since 1937 in that room. Hey, what's the Wolfman doing here? Well, American Graffiti uh, reference again, Wolfman was sitting right about where I am 
when George Lucas filmed those scenes for American Graffiti. Want to hear a transcription? This is a this is a 78 E and electrical transcriptions and uh, and it sounds pretty good for 70 years old. Let's get out of here. Anyway, this control room looks to be about a 1950s vintage, and that's where we'd like to keep it. So, moving back along down the hall, here are some uh, gold records that were presented to KRE when KRE was, uh, was doing this kind of music. Some teletypes. This is where they were traditionally, either here or in our back room. Let's go this way and look at some vacuum tubes. This is crazy. So look at this thing. It's an Emore globe. Uh, a British set made out of uh, old street-like parts. <laughs> you like vacuum tubes? Well, here's our little example of vacuum tubes from uh, lots of eras. We have early ones, we have late ones, and vacuum tubes before transistors, before ICs, before the computer. That's what made it all work. Look at these spy radios from World War II. That's as small as they could get them in that day. In this room, this is some of our earliest stuff. In the old days, in the teens, you'd be listening and sending Morse code on a set like this. And this one, this is an original piece of Marconi wireless. Over on that other wall, Mike, this is our um, wall of Zenith uh, consoles and our, and our wall of very early sets. Um, all these were radiolas. Over here, these two were Uncle Al's, made in Oakland here. Uncle Al's crystal sets. Look at this thing. You ever seen a seven-sided speaker before? Very rare on top of our federal radio on loan by uh, George Patterson. Come on in this way. We're at the final stop. We're gonna, we got upstairs to look at, but we'll do that another time. So come on into the new um, Bay Area Radio Hall of Fame. So this is it. <laughs> And uh, this is the Hall of Fame that was traditionally only online. And earlier this year, we started creating it here in the old Studio A of the old KRE building. We've got a lot of, uh, a lot of good displays of old radio stuff here and uh, old radios and radio stations. But our main focus today is the Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame was started in 2006 by David Jackson in the Bay Area Radio Museum, and this is the beginning of our 2006 class, starting with Ken Ackerman. We have such famous and infamous people in here as, as Bill King and Jim Lang, Jim Gabbard, um, Jim Eason, Ron Lyons, and our dear friend Aaron Edwards, who we just rocked, lost recently, a little earlier, and our dear friend Dave McElhatton that we lost. If you work down this way, here's what we've been waiting for, starting up here, is our 2010 class. These are all the folks that you are seeing tonight that will be inducted into the Hall of Fame. And this is where they reside. They reside right here in Berkeley at the KRE building. So enjoy the show tonight, and I'm glad you were able to take this little tour. You, anybody can come by here anytime and see this in person. Just give me a shout. Bye.